Hey pilots, it's Craig Gamble with Paraglider Service USA and today we're going to go over uh, torquing quick links, your melon repeat bays that are on your risers and uh, come in different sizes of course so they got different torque ratings. The 8 millimeter nut has a different one rating and the 7 millimeter nut another rating and 6 millimeter another. So uh, with that in mind, I contacted Peugeot directly. They make the melon repeaties and they gave me this torque tightening guide and uh, I assumed because of the F that this diameter was in regards to the nut, the ferrule. But when I contacted Peugeot directly, they said no, that's actually the wire size, so it's not the nut size. And so they get they make melon repeat A's from two and a half millimeter wire size all the way up to twenty. And that's in regards to, to this, not this. So when you look at the three and a half millimeter that this one is, with the seven millimeter nut, the torque is just 0 0.6 nms. That's it. I mean, that's, I mean, I could do that with my fingers. That's how minute that is. But I, uh, they're saying that the reason that is, is the way it is, is because that's what the torque need, needs to be for when they do the line, excuse me, the, the, the braking test on these. Uh, carabiners themselves and so if they make it any tighter then it reduces the strength of the, the carabiner itself but that's not such something we need to worry about as much as this loosening up because with these torque specifications these are going to loosen up and I find most paragliders that I receive for servicing if not all of them these are loose very loose and so I found another torque specification guide in regards to stainless steel what these all are and the type of class of metal it is, 8.8, .8, that the torque specification for stainless steel uncoated dry mounting with no uh, lubrication is on this size, 3.5 millimeter with a 7 millimeter nut is 3.22 nms. So that's a big difference, 3.22 versus 0 0.6. So um, that's what you need to secure these at in order for them to stay tight. And so if you got O-rings, you need to go this route, the 3.22. Now, if you have the plastic inserts that are that are corralling the nut in such a fashion that, you know, with them torque like yay, that, you know, these aren't going to loosen because they're trapped by the plastic insert, then it's not a big concern. And it's probably the better route to go. But if you got this route, or if you got some securing plastic insert method that does not secure that nut from loosening further, then you should be going with this torque specification safety and uh, different torque wrenches out there I've got this one off of Amazon but you have to go to the Germany Amazon not the USA to find uh, an open end uh, or adjustable crescent wrench like this for torquing and its ratings are 2.2 to 44 foot pounds and but that translates to 2.9 something nms on up to 60 nms and so the way this works is you preset this is adjustable. I set it for the seven millimeter nuts on these to be a 3.22. And then when it gets to its reading, it'll go green when it's 90%. And then it'll go red when I hit the torque specification. So that's a real quick, easy way. And I, I like this one, it's nice. And there's another method for torquing. I've, I also got these off the uh, Amazon in Germany. And the way these work is these are preset and they're adjustable but you have to have a torque uh, gauge or whatever to to adjust it because there's no way to know where the reading is at i maxed it out and i know that max it's 2.2 and so when it reaches its max the the lever will just bend and so at 2.2 nms it's going to bend and that'll work for your you know your six millimeter nut ones and then i have an eight millimeter one for larger sizes but you see that this can't get up to that torque reading I have to buy another one of these more different size heads and it just gets very expensive you get talking 200 for this 30 bucks for each of these and it's like boy ouch where you know this does it all right here and uh, another method would be going with uh, quarter inch ratchet drive torque wrenches and then which the ratchet drive that uses sockets and then you can buy this from Snap-on. These are, uh, I forget what they call these things. Um, crow's foot, I think. And you can get a set like this, seven millimeter, eight millimeter, and 
on up. Um, this set's 193 bucks, but the quarter inch drive wrench, the torque meter is only like 68 bucks, I think, if I remember off the top of my head. So that's a good route to go. This is the cheaper route, and it's more adjustable. Uh, but this, this, this is another method that works as well, and you can get all this off. This is Snap-on Tools, the USA, and you can get the quarter inch drive torque wrench off Amazon USA too. So just some things to keep in mind if you're, you know, anal like I am in this kind of stuff. Or you can do what a lot of other people do. They just, you know, they, they tighten it till it's snug, and then they go a quarter churn, you know. But you can easily over-tighten these and ruin their ability to secure themselves in that regard. And that's a warning through Melian Rapidi themselves, or Peugeot, I should say. So anyhow, keep all this in mind if you care. If not, don't worry about it.